Album XS. To start, select Album New Album from the main menu at top and input a file name for the album. In the next window you may select a predefined album size from our lab friends or just input your custom values. Please notice that the width of the album refers to page left and page right. You may also input a default gap size and margin for all spreads in the album. Once finished, click on Save Change. It is time now to add some pictures. Right click at the bottom panel to get the menu and select Add Images. These images are added to the bottom panel Images. Images are grouped by the folders. You may also add pictures by dragging them to the bottom panel Finder or Windows Explorer. Once added, you may enable or disable a folder to hide or show the pictures in it. Matches menu include an option to get a zoom in preview of the images. Now select some images from the list at bottom and drag them into the spread. A new design will be created automatically. Select another picture and drag it to the center, at the Add icon in the center. This picture will be added to the design. If you drag one picture over another in the design, they will be swapped. It replaces the old one with the new one. And if you drag new images, to an empty space in the design, all images will be replaced with the news. If you drag images at the right of the design, a new spread will be created and the images added automatically, creating a new design. Clicking at the Layouts option at the bottom panel, you may select a new design for this spread. There are many layouts available. Pressing Ctrl or Command in Mac and then clicking at the layout will reset the gap and margin settings for the spread. If you select Grid option at the top left, you will have a grid with all the spreads in the album. In Grid mode, you may easily swap images between spreads. Double-click a spread to return into single mode. You may press Ctrl or Command N to create a new spread an empty spread and then just drag some pictures to this spread to create a new design in grid mode. You may select a different layout just click to select a spread or double click to open it in single mode. Now select some other images and drag them into the right of the spread. This will create a new design with these images. We have here four images and we select a different layout for them. You may select a layer by clicking at them or pressing Ctrl and clicking another one will create a selection. You may also drag a rectangle in the design to create a selection of layers. 
To resize an image in a layer, press Shift and drag the mouse. This will expand and resize the image. If you use Ctrl or Command and then drag the mouse, you will move the picture in this layer. By selecting a layer and dragging on it, you may move the layer and dragging from the corner or sides will resize the image layer. You may do this with a selection of layers, multiple layers at the same time. You may move them and resize all of them together. Right click an image at the bottom panel and select set as background. Now right click at the background and select hue and saturation to change the saturation and hue color. You may also select opacity and reduce the opacity of the background. No restrictions with album excess. You can make several layers the same size by selecting them and clicking at the icons at the top. Automatic magnetic alignment helps you to position the layers perfectly. Drag to resize Right click and select Rotate Layer to change the rotation of a layer. You may also use the right menu to bring a picture to front or backwards. Select all images together and apply a frame and a shadow to them, using the right click menu over a picture in the design. Again, automatic magnetic alignment to create easily free designs. You may set a background color for the spread and even a different one for left and right. Use the chain and unchain options or the color picker Mac to get a beautiful background color for your spread. Now it's time to save our work. Select from the main menu Album Save All Spreads. And we are going now to export them. Let's start to export them as JPG with full color management. Select the first and the last sheet spread, apply color management and click at export. You may select the target uh, the destination folder for exported layers export the spreads okay let's look at finder the new spreads full resolution jpg files now we are going to export them as photoshop documents Select the target Photoshop version and the spread numbers start and final spread numbers. Also, you may select the target mode. This will start in Photoshop the process to export all them and create PSD files for each spread. As you will see, these PSD documents are full layered documents with uncut layers. All photographies are smart objects 
and you may edit them, resize them, reposition them easily. Even background's opacity and hue and saturation is fully editable. Album XS includes an integrated editor to set curves, to set shadow and highlights, hue and saturation, changing the original pictures in their locations. In grid mode, you may reorder spreads by pressing Ctrl and dragging them to the new position. Full Album Control. Album XS, extremely simple album design software for extreme success.